the Fuentes Gallery, 904 Oak, Wyandotte, Michigan, 48192, USA. This is Adelina Fuentes who owns the gallery. Many praises and proclaims have come from around the world of her art and her being. She is a spiritual, mystic, and psychic. She gives readings and her art is incredible and she has graced me with the pleasure of letting my show me, letting her establishment show my work which is of the most provocative nature but she believes in freedom peace and love and this is Adelina Fuentes I leave her to speak I understand that sometimes we do things because we're not aware of what's going on in our lives and I thought that perhaps today I would give you a message of goodwill that some of us are having so many problems because of our financial crisis and because we're losing homes and some of us are too old and our jobs are taken away from us and you have people that have worked 20, 30, 40 years in the industry and someone came and said you can't no longer be here and then we see people right across my street lose their home because they can't pay for it and up and down you see empty houses where families have left and, and the banks have put them out and we have tried so hard to keep things going in this gallery because we're a nonprofit group and we have uh, Michael here with us, uh, he's one of our poets and we love him, we're proud of him. We know that sometimes he gets really involved in, in political issues uh, basically with me, I'm more concerned about our spirituality as humans, that we show love towards one another in a positive way, and that if you see your brother or sister fall in, that you help them. Maybe there's a homeless human walking around that has no food in their stomach, and you can give them a dollar or give them something to eat. Or maybe there's a family down the street from you that needs clothing for their kids, and you have an extra pair of shoes that you can help. This is all we do in this society. We seem to be thinking more of ourselves and our situation than we do other people. And our country needs more love among each other. We uh, are here as artists and we're painting and we're creating and we're doing everything we can to show people what we feel in our hearts. Our art is here and it tells us who we are. It tells you who we are by what our artists are painting. Sometimes it's easier to do a painting than it is to write a book for some of us. Uh, sometimes it's easier to say something in a positive area than to speak negative of our society. One thing I will say that we are in danger in our country, I do prophesy this, that we're, we're to be very careful of the weather because the weather is what's hurting us. We have tornadoes, we have uh, earthquakes, we have all kinds of uh, premonitions that are around people right now. We've had storms in our country, we've had the, the tornado in the south, and we can expect more bad weather, I will predict that. It's not going to stay the same. And we need to be aware of that, and we need to be more careful as to where we're at, because sometimes the enemy is out there ready to start trouble maybe blow up a shopping mall, maybe do something evil. And we need to really pray that God keeps us under his protection. And we need to pray for our country that we will stay together as, as a family of people and we will continue to prosper and grow. For the ones that are having problems today with their finances, think of a plan. Think of something you can do to bring money to you. Perhaps you might have an idea for a business. Perhaps there's something that you can do that will bring you more money. Some people are selling on the, on the, on the, at the flea market. Some people are having rummage sales. They're doing everything in their power to keep a home. And help each other. Look for a way to get stuff. Some of us can go and find free food. We know somewhere to go where the church will help us. 
Some of us know where to go uh, in our area. Some of the people that I know that have come in here will go eat at the church and they're being fed. Some of us have a mother or a father that helps us and we're fortunate to have a family and families need to be together. But I will say one more thing that I was told, not to be afraid, not to fear the future, but to grab hold of your lives and stay together. Stay together as a family, stay together as brothers and sisters, stay together as mothers and fathers and daughters and sons. And this is the message that I give you, the message of goodwill that's coming from Fuentes Gallery. And God be with all of you, and God bless you. When you first enter Adelina's shop, you know not what this is, what kind of masterpieces lay before you. It is an incredible shop full of wonderful artists who I am proud to know each and every one because there is a gallery opening every, on the third Friday of every month. These are some of the art pieces that show. That is Gail Bell and Ted Bell, a wonderful person. These are some of the pieces you will see. I have to get my two bits in. That's my piece. Though it's not my original style, I took after Sean O'Halloran's approach to uh, expand a little bit. And he's an incredible artist. I can show you his work. Uh, th these are all incredible artists. I don't mean to single anybody out, but uh, it's just it's just an amazing thing. And the, the, the things we sell uh, of supposedly supposedly just trinkets where we have masterpieces of art and they are reasonably priced they ask what the artist wants for them they, they are incredible Adelina is an incredible psychic and she did mention that we've got to stop killing each other for because of the war the war and that's my position too if you're familiar with me, I'm James Michael Ward. You've seen my tapes before on YouTube. And uh, maybe Frank Moore show. Frank Moore show in California. That's one of Sean O'Halloran's paintings. I could show you his new abstract one, but you'll have to come in to see it. I think he can pa we paint in all kinds of styles and forms. It's just really incredible work. All right, I'm going to let you go now, and I'm sorry, I, I, I'm channeling some uh, probably dead forgotten reporter who, who, who stood in the trenches of World War I. There was papers back there, there were people who read, there were books that were cherished and loved. Now, it's a wasteland. Does anybody remember T.S. Eliot, for Christ's sake? Stop the war, stop the murder, stop the killing, let humanity come, this is the second coming. Or it's the end, it's the bomb, it's the nuke for everyone. World peace, world love, America love. I've got my own revolution, said Jack Kerouac, and it's in America. And some, some of them will live in the open. Well, we'll wheel and deal for less. It's an auction art. These are some of the pieces you'll see at the Fuentes God, uh, Gallery. There's some priced at 40, some priced at 20, some priced to 200. These are incredible pieces of work. I don't know what you can see. I'm trying to do the film as best I can. My camera is limited to a, the, the, the worldwide view that you can see. Traditional art, contemporary art, postmodern art, expressionism, religious, all, all, everything is represented. Everything is represented. Adelina, how much is that piece right there? The the, the, the one of the steps. Uh, that's two hundred. 
That's two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred dollars. You get a masterpiece like that painted by. By Joe Van Lilly. Joe Van Lilly. Uh, do you think that's worth a night at the bar, to hang in your home, people? Let's be real.